my name is hello my name is Eka Perez my name is Julian Dorio and our question right here is how has the pandemic affected efficiency in factories manufacturing uh we so we do <laughs> uh we yeah do we do it all right uh, we chose this topic because we are interested. We are interested to see how the pandemic has affected everyday life and like what we use every day, because that's what is manufactured. You know, that's what's being manufactured. So let's rock it off to the instruction in here. The pandemic has affected for factories manufacturing in various different ways. Production and supply chains have been distributed as a result of the pandemic's items and services. In supply and supply chains has been produced in smaller numbers, or not at all, in the long, in months since the disease spreads. Yep. Continuing, an example of how the pandemic has affected efficiency in factories is it created a worldwide decline in auto manufacturing. Due to COVID, there has been a decline in production for millions of vehicles. Demand for vehicles has increased, and on top of that, factories have been slowing down production, which is causing rising prices in automobiles. According to global auto production in 2020 severely hit by COVID-19, it states, after a bleak 2019, which already saw a marked decline of almost 5% in world auto production, and which ended 10 years of growth, the world auto industry faced a new unprecedented challenge in 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. Or a second example of how COVID-19 has affected efficiency is that it resulted in the millions and the loss of millions of manufacturing jobs all over the United States. According to the article titled, 2.1 million manufactured jobs could go unfilled by 2030, by NAM Newsroom News states, the manufacturing skills gap in the United States could result in 2.1 million unfilled jobs by 2030, and about 1.4 million U.S. manufacturing jobs were lost during the early days of the pandemic. According to the study, setting back the manufacturing labor force by more than a decade. This is significant because the pandemic is causing the jobs to get lost and causing productions to slow down in the manufacturing factories. At the beginning of the pandemic, millions of people got laid off. Two years later, the same pandemic has caused many jobs to go unfilled. Continuing, the epidemic caused significant economic shocks across the globe, affecting a wide range of businesses. This is resulting in prices going up for goods and services. Since the demand for certain foods are high, they will hold more value, which they will result in prices rising. COVID is causing these factories to slow down and become less efficient, which is which is then resulting into inflation. According to PBS.org, how the pandemic has affected the economy. States, in the U.S., inflation rose to 5.3%. As measured by the Labor Department's Consumer Price Index in the 12 months through August 2021, 20, after averaging about 1.7% for the past decade. This table is showing the percent change of these foods and like at a grocery store. And you could see how this beef has went up to 20.4% from 3.8%. Overall in the conclusion, in the pandemic negativity effect, in factories manufacturing with negativity effects and consumes everyday Americans. The pandemics um, cause the deadlines and back over the Automobiles industries caused millions of people who have been unemployed and not causing thousands of people from filling jobs opportunities. And finally, caused an increase in the cost of manufacturing goods. That was our, that was our project. project and and thank you. Let me know if you have questions. questions. <laughs>